Anyway, what it says is uh, hashtag panel dash header and then we've got open and close brackets and the CSS goes into there. So that quite simply adds CSS to this whole mini panel. Um, we've gone through and we've, we've added that all the way through. So we've got the main menu has got some CSS panel dash menu. This is just a naming um, technique I use, just add panel at the front so that when I've got my CSS file open, I can see what it is. Let's just uh, have a look at the at the FTP software and have a look at the CSS file. This is just uh, FileZilla. This is it's just a software you can use to browse your the files on the um, on the server. So I'm using the precision theme. If I go into CSS, the precision.css is the one that I'm changing. So I edit that file. we can see that I've added all of the panels um, stuff in we've got here we've got panels content uh, panels content dash login um, we've got the, the logo here the header and I've added all of these things in just by that way just, just using that method what I've done is I've added the CSS so these panels sections all throughout the different panels and then I've added some CSS to the CSS file so we've got the main site template. Um, if we click on selection rules, this chooses when this template is selected. There are no selection rules there because I want this template to be used on every single page. Now, I do want a different template for the login and the password and the password recovery pages, and that is this template here. All I did was made a copy of this template, changed a few things, and um, we can see I've got some custom text here, for example, the custom login text, um, uh, I've just added this text, added this um, box to the right hand side and also created a visibility rule to only show that on forward slash user. So when you go to the login page, which is always forward slash user, uh, that's been themed using this page. And the way it's been taken over is in selection rules, we've got the current path is um, either user, user forward slash login, user forward slash register, or user forward slash password. So what it does with panels is uh, it runs through this list from top to bottom and finds the template to use. So it's got forward slash user as a page and it comes here and it goes down here and it sees ah, this one's got forward slash user in the selection rules, we're going to use this template. But supposing it's forward slash node uh, forward slash node 3 for example it's going to go down here and it's going to see ah node 3 isn't contained here let's go to the next one so it goes to panel site template and it's going to choose this because there isn't any selection rule so it's, this is used for every other page on the site I've got these extra templates here because you can actually select which templates to use in the other panel sections so for example for the user dash when you're logged in I've got this um, template here which is almost identical it's just missing the tabs um, and a few other minor changes but it's only used on the actual user dash so that's the panels everywhere section done I put the main bits of content onto the site just have a quick look at mini panels we can see what mini panels I've created we've only got a footer and a header um, mini panels are just little blocks of content that you can use around your site they're a little bit like Drupal blocks except they're a lot more configurable you can have all sorts of amazing layouts like three column layouts two column layouts you can change the layouts with CSS and so um, you can quickly build up um, good little bits of content like this this header which is a mini panel so we can see in this mini panel content section you always got four options uh, in the mini panel settings context layout and content I'm only ever really interested in layout and content the context hasn't been used on this site to a great uh, extent so here we've got our logo now this is just simply a bit of HTML um, to insert the logo and to make it into a link. We've also got a slogan added below. And how I've done this is I've just added content, chosen custom content, and put my HTML in there. On the other side, we've got our web form newsletter sign up. Now there's, a, there's an extra module for the web form and simple news which join the two together allow you to have a simple news email into a web form. So this is quite just simply um, one field 
a very simple web form which contains this uh, this box where you can put the newsletter in and below it then I've got a shopping cart and uh, this is just a views output this is just the standard block which comes with um, Drupal Commerce but I've themed it a little bit to get rid of um, the extra stuff. Usually in the shopping cart you have an itemized list of all the stuff on your list. I've got rid of that itemized stuff and just got um, the summary, the five items, the total cost and the links. I'll probably theme this a little bit further as we go along but uh, it's functional for now. There's one thing to note in this is when you're inserting your um, shopping cart block into uh, the panel system it's a good idea just to use the block. It's uh, If you use the view or the master view then some of your arguments won't come across and this can sometimes read the wrong numbers because it's it's not getting an argument from the page so it's, so it's uh, displaying everything for example um, so yeah insert the block here and not the view uh, next if we have a look at mini panels uh, we've also got the footer this is a similar sort of thing we've just got a load of different columns and different content in each one this one is using the flexible layout uh, created because it's uh, slightly more customized but at a later date I'll probably come back and change that layout into something um, non-flexible. With the layout designer it can be a little bit more heavy on resources because it has to build it every time. So in here we've got our footer logo, we've got um, the address and this is all just again HTML added just as before. And we've got our little about us section. Uh, this again, all HTML bits and pieces. You could have a sort of taxonomy list down here showing all of your different treatments and products, but uh, that would be more, um, you know, heavier work to load the footer. So I wanted to keep it as light as possible. So I'm just using little bits of HTML and links. Um, so those are the two mini panels. They're put on the page. Um, we've got our menu put on the page. Um, all those having little bits of CSS added to it and now we have to deal with theming the main part of the page. So let's go back to the main panel section. What we've got here is we've got node template. Now this is dealing with theming. I'm using this to theme different content types. So I've added a content type home page. Um, if we edit that on this page we can go to the home page. I've added a content type called home page. Um, if we go to structure and then content types um, you can see all the content types that I have, uh, and home page is one of them. Uh, I've done the same for the About Us page and the catalog page, and so on and so on. And so, in this panel system, I can add a new variant. Um, up here, you can choose to add new variant, and you can then theme that variant. All of these are variants going down this left hand side. You can add content to that variant so that it, each one looks uh, unique. So if we have a look at the home page, it's a very similar um, set of options um, to the Panels Everywhere system. I mean, Panels Everywhere is built on the panel system, so really this, this one came first. But if we have a look at the content system, the content uh, tab, we can see the content that I've added here. Now this is just a, a standard two-column panels um, layout, but I've, I've changed the CSS slightly because I've, I've wanted this, two, this second column to be further over on the left and this first column to have a background. So this looks like this. We've got this one column over here, the left, the right-hand column, and then we've got this left-hand column, which is much larger and it's got this sort of uh, white background. So the home page, what I've done is I've added again, I've added a custom uh, piece of content to add the node title and the node body. And when you're adding content, you could just choose node, and you've got all the node stuff available to you there you can just choose the title and you can choose the body but what's quite nice is if you add um, a custom piece of content you can add in tokens into here so if we edit this we can see that I've added um, the node title this is a token from the substitution list the node title here percentage node uh, colon title but I've wrapped that in header tags and then I've got a paragraph and then the node body so that's quite a nice way of just outputting the node title and the node body uh, with a little bit of theming just into a custom um, a custom HTML piece we then got this view which is uh, just a list of the four latest products um, we've got a grid 
and that's added in here. Next on the right hand on the right hand side, we've got two views. We've got uh, one which lists all of the uh, catalog uh, items and one which lists all the treatment items. So we've got our products here, all the catalog items, and our treatments here, all the treatment items. So I've gone through and I've done that for every single page that I've got on the site. Well, not every single page, but every single content type. So all of the About Us pages, if we go to content, they're themed in this way. We've got the content here, we've got photo, Google map, um, node title, and node body. And then we've got our About menu on this side. And so when you go to an About page, it's all themed in this way. No matter which About page you go to, everything looks the same. So going through this list, then we've got our product catalog page and our treatments page. Um, and we've also got, um, for example, the contact us page. If we click on contact content, we can see that I've added this web form here, as well as the title and the body. I've added the web form into this. So you can add lots of different things using this panel system. And you can theme every single content type um, in any way that you want. It doesn't have to be content types as well. The selection rules are really powerful with this. So for example, with free skincare advice, that's just one page. So I just decided to create a basic page and theme that. Um, if we click on selection rules, that's just got um, the current path is node 25. Rather than adding a content type saying every single content type gets themed in this way, all we've done is added a current path and that just says node 25. So on that node, it's going to look like this, uh, this uh, theme here. So selection rule is really, really powerful for choosing um, for theming every different aspect of your site. You can either, I like the content type approach because you can theme lots of different types in one go, lots of different pages in one go, like the About Us page. But it's also useful to know that you can add uh, string URLs into that so that only the certain pages are selected. So that handles um, all of our nodes, but we've got other things to theme as well. We've got, if we go to structure and we go to panels, we've also got taxonomy pages. Now we could just leave those as the standard Drupal taxonomy pages. That means you just get a list of everything that's tagged with that taxonomy term. Let's just have a quick look at the taxonomy while we're here. Um, I've got some different vocabularies added here. Fragrance, that's different flavors of the soap. Our newsletter, that's different newsletters. Um, treatments, catalog, and tags. So there are different vocabularies. We can theme each of those pages using the taxonomy term uh, themer and panels. And I've only added two here. I've got the product catalogs, product catalog and R treatments. So if we go to the R treatments page, this is actually a, a node. Um, but it's got these uh, taxonomy terms attached to it. So if I click on one of these, this is now a taxonomy page. And this is themed using this R treatments. So I've just created a variant. Once again, I've added a selection rule. This time it's going to be a taxonomy selection rule, so it's term being viewed is of the vocabulary R treatments. That means that all of those treatments, uh, every single of those one of those pages is going to be themed according to this particular panel set up here. So the content uh, area, we've got um, view, and we've got custom, just the taxonomy title and the description put in there. So that means that on our, on our page, we've got links to all of the other taxonomy terms. That's just a view outputting that. And we've also got our title and our um, body text here. Now this makes it really useful for site editors because um, they can come to this page, they can just click edit, and now they're editing the taxonomy um, term. They've got the text there, and that's just the taxonomy term editing. So it's very, very similar to editing nodes, but obviously with, with the structure of the taxonomy.